So we are level one fighting Distropolis, and this is a boss fight I've been worried from the very start of about from the very start of this campaign, or from the very start of this run. It's just because this is such a unique boss, and it, its health is so absurdly high that I'm not sure how um how being level one is going to factor into this. Oh, you're from the Discord server. That's uh, the Crossroad Discord. That's awesome. Glad to have you. Glad to have you here, Lamochan. Nineloft and I think Delwick are actually from the Crossroad Discord as well. And I like how this is, in many ways, Distropolis is like the mastery sort of boss for Fire and Ice. They tried to build up the Bunny Boss earlier as the, um, sort of like the, the boss for testing your skills with Fire and Ice, but I really think, though, this is the fight. Yeah, it's really interesting because we... Stropolis is such a hard boss. That's also a really interesting boss with its mechanics. Oh, it's doing the thing. Okay. We're going to do it this time. So we need... Maximum fire resistance. Hiya! We're just going to try and stay as close to the right as possible. Okay, up here. Up here. And just for good measure... I want to have some health regen. Not taking any chances here. Okay. And now it is a little bit crazy. <laughs> yes, Tohu mode activated. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and go, where is it? Where is it? Where is it, Sergei? There we are. Oh boy! <laughs> Really? Interesting. What? Time to demonstrate the power of exponential growth. And now the real fight begins, ladies and gentlemen. And we are level one. <laughs> also, this is one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. It's called Exponential Conclusion. Come on. Are you weak to anything? Nope. All right, let's just do it. Let's go! Let's go! I'm I'm amazed how much damage we're doing. No way! I know, right? We're level one. I can't believe we're doing this much damage to it. Oh my! Oh, cool, copper. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just the nature of the mechanics of this boss with the absurd amount of health. Oh dear. I, I do not like that. Sandwich. Yeah, I know, right? Getting through a stage in one bright face is really abnormal for this challenge run, let me tell you guys. Like, seriously. With the bull boss last stream, for example, uh, no, not last stream, with the bull boss two streams ago, we actually did so little damage that it was faster to just run off a cliff than it was for us to actually do melee canceling attacks against it. And that took like, I don't know how many times we had to run that thing off a cliff for it to, for us to get to the next phase, but it took forever. And then there was the moth boss, which took a lot. Oh yeah, exactly. Level 1 or level 99, 2 to the 30 second power is still a lot of damage, that's a good point. Oh dear. The fire attack's hard to dodge. Sandwich. Yeah, this is actually my third favorite boss fight in the entire game. Just because it's such an uplifting sort of conclusion to this area. And uh, you, you, you kind of come across this enemy that just seems impossible. And it makes you feel once again like you're trapped, but this time, through persistence, you actually managed to overcome it. And to me, it's one of the most satisfying moments in the game. Not the most satisfying moment, mind you. There's still some moments later in the game that I, I enjoy even more than this one, but it's still really high up there. Come on. Damage. Let's go. Let's defeat Distopolis. <laughs> yeah, though it is a small difference out. That's a good point, Nightwatch. 
Yeah, what's important, like you're saying, is that the attack stat, because of just the unique nature of this boss fight, is so much higher than normal. Come on. We're so close. We're so close. Why? Come on. All right, this is it. This has to be it. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Discropolis at level one! Yeah!